So I want you to imagine back when you were a little kid. And imagine that your friend gave you a drawing. He said, this is something I want you to make out of blocks. So he sends you the drawing. And it's just a little castle wall. Like this. Okay? But on the drawing, he has a bunch of numbers. And, you know, so he tells you these numbers are going to tell you how big to make the, the castle. Well, so you look at it, um, but you really have no idea how big you're supposed to make this. You, you know, five what, four what, one what. So you called up your friend, um, or you had your mother call your friend, and your friend said, oh, well, those are in blocks. So we're actually talking about blocks here. So at the top, this, these are each one block. And then we have it sub, further subdivided, so it has a height of four blocks and a width of five blocks. So now all of a sudden your friend's drawing makes sense. But your friend didn't have to give you, you these measurements in terms of blocks. Your friend could have measured a block and found that the width of it is 20 centimeters and then said okay this number instead of being a 4 would be an 80 all of these 1's would become 20's the 5 would become 100 but now these are centimeters so this number that comes out so you have two things you have one you have a number and then we have this little word or symbol that comes after it. And this is the unit. So this is telling us we have 100 centimeters, and that's how wide this is. That's how long this is. So in other words, a centimeter is a measure of length. Um, similarly, instead, the first time your friend used blocks, and he told you how many blocks we had. We had five blocks. But blocks we also use as a measure of length. And so that's how, so this is kind of just like the, an intuitive look about how units work. So we have some kind of number, and then we have something telling us that in this case that we're measuring a length. Now this would be totally different if somebody stepped on a scale. And, you know, they had something, you know, or on a, you know, a scale that measured mass. And so we found out, you know, for example, that they're 98 kilograms. Because now kilograms is a measurement of mass. And we already know, like even intuitively, that mass and length are two completely different things. Right? You can't imagine some, somebody telling you that something was 8 kilograms long. Or, you know, that something was really heavy because it was 100 um, centimeters. Right, those things don't make sense. So we have a very intuitive idea of what units are, um, but we're gonna, you know, try and look at this a little bit more to see, you know, why units are important, and especially why it's important to have a certain standard for the units that we use.